Every year, the Angels finally figure out how to do something that could potentially lead them to a World Series. Now, with two of the best players in the world on their team with Mike Trout and Shohei Otani, can they finally win a World Series in 2023? This was a question I was asking myself while I was at work, seeing how the Angels signed Brandon Jury to a two-year contract at 8.40 p.m. just randomly. They just picked up Brandon Jury, which pretty much had his breakout year last year, and it's kind of a gamble between will he or will he not continue to be that star he was when he got traded at the deadline. They got Tyler Anderson, which had a honestly really underrated year. On top of that, you picked up other bats like Gio Urshela, and you got Hunter Renfro in a trade, which is pretty much Mike Trout Jr. They just look alike. It is what it is. You got some really good guys on your roster that are kind of like role players to a sense, right? They're not stars per se but they're notable names now i feel like every year we sit down and think to ourselves man can the angels really do it this year i mean last year we thought they could do it with the rise of shohei otani at his mvp level and still playing to that this year will he continue to be at the mvp level next year who knows or will shohei otani actually get shopped at the deadline because he is in his free agent year you also have mike trout that is that guy that pretty much is like the best hitter in baseball still. I mean, if you want to think about it, I, I saw a really interesting comparison with uh, Messi that recently won the World Cup, which is like one of the greatest soccer players of all time. People were comparing it to like if Mike Trout won a World Series, which it kind of is to a sense. Mike Trout is one of the greatest hitters of our generation and probably will be in the Hall of Fame at the end of his career. Does all these signings and trades give you hope as an Angels fan that maybe overstepping and getting that championship? I don't know. And that's what I've been kind of thinking about, man. Brandon Jury is a great signing, first of all. Brandon Jury had a really good year. If we want to look at his stats right now, between the two teams he was on last year, he hit above average. He had a 263 average, an OBP of 320, a slug of 492, and had a 3.0 war season, which is the most war he has accumulated in a season, at least. It's not that all star player that you're looking for, but he really did have a good season last year and honestly was probably the best trade piece that the Padres picked up at the deadline. Yeah, people could argue Juan Soto was the best piece because he's a phenomenal talent. He's a generational talent, but he did not play as well as people expected him to be. Brandon Jury was just solid day in and day out. I mean, you're going to have a guy like that on the Angels for the next two years that is making not a lot of money for, compared to a lot of the other stars that got picked up. The dude is getting paid 17 mil over two years. That isn't bad for the type of output you're going to get out of him for the next two years. Now, Brandon Jury, right? Probably going to be third base but you also have someone like Gio Urshela who has played shortstop and third base so what is going to happen with your other pieces on your team like Anthony Rendon or even Luis Renjifo is someone going to DH here and there but then you have Shoya Otani which is probably going to be your DH so it's going to be very interesting to see if the Angels actually make more trades in the future I don't know if all these pitchers and bats are enough for the Angels, but I think it's a really good start. Even though a lot of these people might seem mid in people's eyes or average, I think it's a really good pickup for an Angels team that kind of struggled. I mean, the most output you had from your team from a hitting perspective was Mike Trout and Shohei Otani and Anthony Rendon when he was doing okay sometimes and Luis Renjifo when he came back. According to Fangraphs, the starting lineup as of today, Luis Renjifo batting first, Mike Trout batting second, Shoya Otani batting third, Taylor Ward still, which is an interesting one, batting fourth, Anthony Rendon batting fifth, Hunter Renfro batting sixth, Brandon Jury playing second base batting seventh, Jared Walsh batting eighth, and Logan batting ninth as your catcher. Now, you guys have a decent rotation. Shoya Otani is going to be Shoya Otani. Tyler Anderson just came off a really good year with the Dodgers. Patrick Sandoval is coming into his own at the end of the year and top of that Reed Detmers did have that no hitter but he didn't perform as well as people expected throughout the rest of the season. He had a .77 ERA. I don't know right. You still have Tyler Anderson too which is amazing because people like Reed Detmers could learn from someone like Ashoya Otani and Tyler Anderson. So this is just a really good team overall. They also have Gio Urshela on the bench which is interesting because is he going to fill in for spots at third base, shortstop, or even second base? I know a big thing with Gio Urshela is they were trying to make him a shortstop and he just wasn't a shortstop. He was a third baseman, man. So just let him play third base at the end of the day. Now, Angels, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think signing all these guys make up for such a bad season you guys had last year? I mean, at the end of the day, it sucks to be an Angels fan because it looked really good going into April and then the collapse just happened, man. The collapse just happened at the end of April and my God, Angels fans hearts just sunk.
The Angels ended up going 73 and 89 last year, which isn't bad compared to the other teams in your division. You have the Astros, Mariners, Rangers, Athletics. I honestly think the Angels can compete with the Mariners and Astros. The Mariners do have some solid bets and some pitching. Also, the Astros are just going to Astro, so it is what it is. I don't think you'll beat the Astros, but I do think you could beat the Mariners. It will be really interesting if they don't end up shopping Shohei Otani at the line or maybe other pieces. I don't think Mike Trout is going anywhere. I don't think you're going to find a team that's willing to give up so many prospects for Mike Trout or the Angels just won't give up Mike Trout because that's their one star besides Shohei Otani and Shohei Otani is going into free agency next year so with that being said do you guys think this team now could beat a team like the Mariners or Astros I think they can I don't think they could beat the Astros I think maybe you can make it into the wild card picture anyways that's all for the video guys thank you guys for watching my name is Show AKM Hitch if you made it this far thank you I guess I just got home from work and I'm kind of just talking off my brain right now talking off the tongue whatever the saying is bye guys have a great day bye